All right, guys, so the first thing first I'm working on, I had changed my oil pressure uh, sensor. I got a new one, and also I got this uh, coolant bypass uh, steam pipe. Uh, I had the two block offs, but I decided to add it uh, just to help with um, any air pocket that's like in the corner of the block and all that, uh, just to help prevent anything down the road. Um, and the only thing we have to do is torque down these bolts. And I need to tighten up uh, these knock sensors, even though I'm not using it. Um, but other than that, after all this is done, I'm gonna put everything back together. Now, I want to do a color changer here with this bronze and green. So right now, I'm gonna make sure the truck is reliable before I do a uh, paint uh, match and all that. So let's get to it. All right, guys, that's not good. Um, we got some coolant in this port right here. Look at the other ones that don't have it. I think we probably have blown the gasket. So, what I might have to do is just uh, take everything apart right here, which uh, everything look pretty dry. So, yeah. All right, so guys, I'm removing everything that I had just uh, put back, just these uh, two coolant pipes. Then I gotta move everything on this side. Which is uh, pretty fun and interesting. Uh, but I'm glad I caught that before I put everything back because that could have been uh, even worse. But we don't know if we in a bad situation uh, once I pull the head out. So this is going to actually be pretty darn fun. Like I said, it's just one that uh, one cylinder. But as I think about it, when I was driving, I did have the temp go over 245. And the reason why, because I forgot to turn the fan on like a dumb idiot. So... I would say that was uh, my error, so I have to go back. But hey, it's a good thing. Um, I can just go back and then just go from there. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna actually be pretty fun. And sorry for all the noise and stuff, got family and all that in the background, so yeah. All right, guys, this is where we at. We still exposing more stuff, so we're trying to get uh, to this bad boy right here. I'm going to remove these spark plugs right here and uh, take this valve cover off and then go from there. Uh, should be pretty fun and interesting. I mean, why I got this probably off, I might as well. I don't know. I said I was going to wait to paint, but I might as well if it's off. But we'll see. Um, yeah. But fingers crossed uh, that it's just the head gasket and nothing else uh, too catastrophic. I think that uh, bleed uh, coolant pipe will be a huge uh, contributor, uh, especially adding boost uh, to this motor. Um, it's this, I think one, two, three, well, the fourth cylinder on this side has uh, the issue with uh, coolant in there. So hopefully I can see like a cracker uh, somewhere and uh, hopefully not on the piston or uh, side of the block or anything of that nature, but we will see. Looking pretty good. Now, I do see some coolant. I don't know if y'all see that, but I do see some coolant. Let me get back y'all. So guys, these rocker arms are pretty new. It probably got like less than by like a thousand miles. Not the rocket arms, but these springs. These are brand new. Uh, I put these in about like a year or two ago, but I haven't been driving this truck like that. So uh, we do have some coolant and some oil mixture right about here. You probably won't be able to tell. Uh, we're going to have to move this whole rocket arm assembly right here. Uh, and then I'm going to have to move these 515 right here, 515 right there, and then 510 uh, right there. And then we'll see uh, what's under this bad boy. So hopefully nothing too catastrophic. Um, yeah, let's just get to it. All right, guys, so we got the rocker arms assembly off, as you can see. Now I'm gonna just pull each rod out. As you can see, looking all regular. We don't have nothing bent, of course, hopefully not.
Now everything's straight. So what I'm gonna do is just grab all these and then uh, loosen these bolts. All right, guys, so we got the, all the big guys out, uh, 10 of these. Now we gotta get uh, five more. All right, guys, so we got the head off. This is how it's looking underneath. And this is the other side of right here. We got a little stuff out there I need to remove. I'm surprised everything's still looking pretty good. I'm surprised. Uh, any inputs or anything of that nature, y'all let me know. But just to have, um, get some water in that cylinder. I guess we was having some blow by. I know we was getting blow by really bad on that crankcase pressure. But I'm gonna just replace the gasket on this side right here and uh, see where would it go. Got some work right there in that cylinder too. Get some blow by something. And that's not good anyway. <clears throat> I would say I'm lucky, but it looked like we've probably been leaking from here. The only thing I see is little residue down here. So this gasket might be freaking fried. I mean, this is, I don't know, I might need to try a different type. But I do, I do have a smaller reservoir that I'm running. Um, But I did had um, my crap ran wrong like a dumb idiot. Um. But I'm gonna see how we just go running this small little tank. I was gonna get that big behind um, oil, separate, oil catch can and coolant reservoir. But you know, my pipe ran through here, so it wouldn't be no purpose. So I made room for this puppy right here. For this. Everything looking good. Everything like, see these like some new valves and all that was recently installed. Not like a year or two. Always getting water and oil mixed in.